Okay, this is the MXL 910 mod mic kit. Currently, we're listening to this microphone off of a Neve 517 uh, microphone preamplifier with the compression and silk buttons disengaged. Um, today's date is March the 10th of the year 2015. And so the first stage of this mic mod test is to, well, first hear what it sounds like with its original components with my mouth about, I'd say it's about three or four inches away from the actual capsule or the, the, the microphone itself. The mic pre is set to 36, uh, which is the halfway point that this microphone, that the preamplifier goes to. And I just want to hear what this thing sounds like um, before the mod and after the mod. The first step, or this first recording, is with the 910's original guts. Capsule and guts, all original. Um, the second step will be to uh, upgrade the components on the inside, the electronics. The board is sitting on the workbench over behind me, and I've... Uh, got the parts from uh, microphone uh, parts.com and I just want to hear what it sounds like I want to see if there's a big difference so the second part will be just to hear what it sounds like with the new electronics in it the third part which we'll probably do in a month or so whenever I buy the capsule we'll then hear what the difference is with the guts and the capsule completely changed out of this microphone Again, this is a test, and I am hoping for the best. And again, I'll, I'll say my settings. Um, I'm using an MXL 910 microphone that I just bought from Musician's Friend on the stupid deal of the day. Um, it's plugged into a Neve 517 microphone preamplifier. That's a 500 series mic pre. Um, and then that's going out into an Apogee Rosetta 800 and then eventually into Pro Tools into my uh, Mac Mini. And this is with the original components, the way it was bought from musiciansfriend.com. Okay, well, hopefully we'll hear something uh, really pleasant really soon. Okay, well, have a nice day. Okay, I've completed a microphone modification of my MXL 910 microphone that I bought for 50 bucks on Musician Friends Stupid Deal of the Day. Um, I bought the kit from microphoneparts.com. Um, it's called the MPV57 PCB kit. And basically what you do is you just replace all of the guts and the board and actually add an extra uh, PCB so it goes from one PCB board with just a couple of I'm getting a text with just a couple of components on it to several components on it um, uh, they claim that it the mod um, brings your mic to a new level um, it's rather than an upgrade individual component um, on a cheap imported PCB. We've designed it a new PCB from the ground up. It's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, based on the Jim Wilkinson's Transformless Circuit mod. Um, and there is quite uh, a lot of stuff to install. And I'm hearing the difference. Um, the original guts on the uh, 910 kind of made it sound a little muddy like the middle of mids were muddy but there was um, accentuated brights I think that, that were in there I think that's what kind of sells the mic is that bright sound um, but otherwise everything in the middle is kind of muddy sounding I think this sounds much different and I'm looking forward to doing the capsule change as well the settings uh, well, actually everything that I have set here is pretty much the same I am approximately three to four inches away from the diaphragm of the microphone um, using a Rupert Neve Design 517 mic pre set at 36 
that's going into a Rosetta 800 uh, ADDA converter and then finally onto my hard drive. Um, so this is pretty much what it sounds like. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun building the kit. There was a little bit of challenge. Um, it seems that MXL had changed a couple of things in their design from, I guess, when um, Matt over at microphoneparts.com had designed the booklet to, for you to follow along with it. Um, basically, the pinout um, from the XLR was different, and that created quite a headache because you know, I, you, you follow those instructions and you solder it to the board and then it's not working and you're like, what's going on? And then, you know, I, I tapped um, a little diode that I later got yelled at by Matt for tapping it and he said it could blow it. But you tap, I tapped it and I could hear it. It could hear a little doot, doot, doot sound, but nothing was coming through. I couldn't get voice or anything like that. Um, after a few emails back and forth, and I'm sure I drove Matt nuts, um... I just kind of was like, well, let me just really check. I just rem something in my mind's data bank just um, reminded me that a lot of times these microphones made in China, they'll change little things here and there according to what's cheaper. So maybe the XLR pinout was different. So I just kind of like went real deep in there. It was hard to see. They, they don't let you take that XLR insert out from the bottom of the microphone I mean I couldn't un I couldn't release it this the screw the lockdown screw that that holds it in place just wouldn't come out so I just took a really bright LED and I stuck it in there with a magnifying glass and it was like oh, it was really tough and then I was able to see the pinout and then I was like oh so then I started switching the wires around and voila here it is anyway so that's the um MV oh sorry the MPV5 PCB kit and that pop you heard is just because I don't have a pop filter in front of me um, and I have not changed the capsule out that will be the next step on this microphone just want to see what I could hear um, or hear what I could hear and uh, just from 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 the first modification anyhow um, signing off have a nice day